Hello everyone, this is Tucker Ticker and welcome to the first Minecraft video in a long time. This is probably the first Minecraft video I've recorded in fact since I um, started doing Portal when I was really, really tired. Which was a lot of fun for me, I'm not sure how much fun it was to watch. I think I've uploaded up to episode 7 now. Anyway, but uh, this is the world that I was most recently doing single player on. With my little balcony out here and stuff. Um, and this is this is really just going to be a refresh video to sort of go over what I've got and um, a few of the more recent things that I've added, of which there are only a few. I uh, almost as well that I'm back to my old texture pack, which which is the sort of default texture pack, which I only just really realised myself because um, I've, I've been playing multiplayer a lot recently as well. But I wanted to sort of do a video to go over what I've got, to go over what I'm, I've recently added, and sort of talk about what I'm going to be adding as well, because I've missed doing these, and I want to do more. So we got sort of this was the basic house with like my farm and stuff up here with the wheat there, and there was the sort of larger farm that we just saw, and this is, this is where I sort of farm trees for wood. Um, but I've been spending a lot of time tr sort of trying to move out from this location because th this is really really basic I mean we've got the bare minimum stuff and this is the sort of storage from down here where my mushrooms are ever so slowly growing go mushrooms and the more observant among you will also notice that I have changed my skin because my hand is now bright yellow and I now look like one of the minions from Despicable Me because they're awesome it's a fun movie um, but yeah, I've still got my enchanting table and stuff here. But I've, I, I, I kind of feel bad about this place because I've sort of built it and then let it go. And I have my rainbow sheep as well, which I'm very proud of. I haven't cheered any of them since I made them all rainbow. The, ne the next step with these guys actually will be to... Um, not not on the sheep, the, she the sheep are, I don't need to do anything with their enclosure, but the cows I need to separate or create a separate part for them to go into so that I can herd some of them in there and then uh, kill them off for their leather and uh, meat. And I've got the chickens here whose eggs I apparently harvest and lob in. And this was that contraption where it took ages to fill the entire thing with water so I could take a boat up and down which took an awful long time but was well worth it. And then there's this which is out here but there's, there's something else I want to talk about as well, which is something that I've been seeing more and more in recent days, and that that is this idea that the entire world, if not the entire universe, is based on circles. Which the, I, I, I warn you now, this this is going to get a bit metaphysics, but it's it's a topic that interests me, so deal with it. I think I don't know. But I mean, if, if take take a sort of stop for a second and seriously think about how many things are circular or indeed spherical in, in the world. For example, the atom is usually drawn as circular. It's not actually circular, but it's easiest to model it as though it was. So it, it's close enough to being circular. It doesn't matter. You can see here. I've still got my um. Yeah, this is this is a new thing about it. This was all here to begin with. This uh sort of water elevator and mobs will come from down the bottom. Is that one on the way up? Yes, there's one coming. You might or might not be able to see a creeper, but you'll see it when it gets to level with my face. But yeah, the monsters come up here and I, uh, I, for a while now I'd been meaning to, there he is, to go into the box down there that I'm pointing at now uh, where they're spawned and put in half slabs to stop spiders spawning. And I have now done that and what I've also done is I've added this glass bit around here and this sort of enclosure so that stuff can now fall down here without any danger of it sort of landing on my head because I've had that happen before and it actually prevents them from dying so on more than one occasion I had a creeper land down here and then I had to fight it. And what I also have is this lever which pushes those pistons out and I'll just turn it off quickly because it needs to be off most of the time because is that, no. I thought I saw it falling because th those will now push out any items that are dropped so I can collect them. I wonder where that creeper is. 
Uh, you, you know that it works. I've got, I've got the stairway going up there. But I, I hadn't played this world in a while because when I last went up there to fix it, uh, something shot me. That was the sound of a zombie. Or a skeleton. There he is. There's the zombie. Oop, stuff is falling. I heard it. Yep, there's there's uh, co uh, stuff. What was it? Gunpowder. That was it. Now I've done that and I can collect it. Now I have gunpowder. And there will be more mobs arriving. But, there's, so there's that. And then there's the uh, new things. I've other new things that I've added, like my crops and stuff. And that other tree farm, because I didn't like having to go all the way back over there to get wood. And also it wasn't growing over there because I'm not close enough for it to actually update. But yeah, by now you'll have had a chance to think about how many circles there are in the universe. For example, the planets. And I'm not talking about perfect circles, because the, the, the universe doesn't work with perfection. If something is perfect, it throws everything out of balance. Because I, I, I'm of the idea that it is impossible for everything to be perfect, and yet still remain able to cooperate properly. But uh, the, the orbits of the planets as well, circles... And then, then there's the sort of circular motions that are more metaphorical. For example, um, civil the rise and fall of civilizations, which is like uh, we we've got numerous empires throughout history that have grown and then shrunk back, and I I, I think that's really what we're on the verge of now. We, we've had this sort of what people are calling a global recession, but I'm sure there's an awful lot of countries which. Are, have no idea why they're calling it that, but um, Western civilization has been hit very, very hard by it, and I, d I doubt that it'll ever recover back to the way it was, which is the natural progression of things. Uh, it, 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 Western civilization has had its day, and now it'll move on to somewhere else, which is likely to be China at this point. But yeah, so I've got this setup here where I've got the central pillar, which uh, the mob spawning elevator and the mob spawner itself and all this is built around it and eventually this is going to reach up sort of to the sky which was a much less daunting task before they doubled the world height so that's going to be fun when I eventually get round to it but yeah and then I've, uh, so like I said I've uh, made these trees over here because the, these will update and grow whilst I'm working on this place Although I do need an axe, because I cut them all down with my fist recently and it took forever. I also need to go over all of this with torches, because mobs keep spawning down there, and if they're spawning down there, they're not spawning in the spawner. And then I've got my crops. I mean, you may be wondering why I have this sort of roof over here. It's, it's not purely for decorative purposes, it's actually um, to stop the crops being destroyed by rain, because rain actually damages them. That that's pretty much the only changes I've made to it since it was last seen. Let's go down back to the front. I'm I'm almost tempted to put a walkway between these two, but I like the idea that it's all separated and you have to keep going up and down to get between platforms. And that'll eventually be how the whole lot will be. There'll be jungle trees going all the way up. Or it's interesting. I find that the jungle trees are this shade of green. They're not usually so dark. But they, I think they're this colour because I'm growing them in a swamp biome. You'll notice the similarity in colour between the jungle trees and the swamp trees here. Uh, and I, I, th I think that if I were to grow these trees in a jungle, they would be much more uh, of a bright green, a more yellowy green, if you will. Maybe we can see down here. This is where mobs will so that they'll sort of fall down from this container into here, where the water will bring them along. In fact, I can show you a little bit. If I do that, that blocks off the uh, mobs through here. So yeah, they, they all flow down there and then get sucked into this. And because mobs will automatically attempt to swim upwards when they are in water, uh, they will swim up through that. And that they, they've got those little pockets of air so they don't just die by drowning and fall down to the bottom here. But yeah, I've been thinking about that circle thing for a little while now, and it's it's. I've found it really peculiar because I, I've I've started seeing them everywhere. I mean, e in my own life, even when when sort of things just sort of go back to the way they were previously, and it it all sort of comes around on itself, and they're they're never exactly the same. It, it, it there is change and growth, but it's 
not as drastic as I f think sometimes I'd, I'd, I'd like to make myself believe it, it's more subtle than that. Hey, let's sleep. What do you mean? It's getting to night. It's not nearly night. Uh, go down, son. I actually also suspect that the mob spawner has a hole in it somewhere. Not, not like a physical hole, but somewhere that light is allowed to get in because I think that more mobs spawn in there at night. God damn you! But yeah, I mean uh, the, the circle thing. I mean, I've I've been. Uh, what did I notice recently that was looping back on itself? Oh, that was it. My uh, I was cycling through various games consoles because I I go through cycles of uh, which game consoles I have with me because I I'm. Technically, a university student at the moment. Yeah, I should be able to sleep now. There we are. Um, which means that I live away from my parents' home. I, I don't have a permanent address of my own at the moment. I, I tend to uh, move house every year to a different student house uh, for for various reasons. Let's go see if the mobs have dropped anything. Uh, so a lot a lot of my stuff is still stored with my mum and which consoles I have here depends on how much storage space I have and how how I'm feeling at that given point in time so I'll, I'll sort of gradually swap them out and I've, I've recently gone back to having them all up here with me which should be fun also I'm not sure if uh, people know but in one of the more recent updates and I have no idea how long ago it what actually was but in one of the more recent updates uh, Minecraft was made so that uh, mobs will actively seek shade or water during sunlight. Why oh, my render distance set on normal? Video settings? Yes, I do. Back to game. Load, damn it. Oop. That, that, that was a skeleton from the sky. Sad I missed that. Not that you'd be able to see much, that's the only real major downside of this glass wall. Well, you can see pretty well from there, but then they can land on my face. But now I have an arrow. Woo. And I lost my train of thought. But who cares? Far render distance. Well, that's, that's the state of my world at the moment. Uh, plans are next, really, to just start expanding platforms upwards. I mean, the food platform down there and the one linked to it and the tree that goes up next to it those are all very recent additions in fact that, that tree was causing me problems because when I actually sort of climbed the tree to start putting in the platform um, when I started placing the planks down the tree itself started to disintegrate a little bit and the leaves were disappearing so I was having to wait on the uh, platform and place down some planks when it uh, disappeared it was th this area it used to reach out much further and now it doesn't and I had to sort of cut into here a bit to be able to walk through but yeah that's that's all I really wanted to cover and perhaps give you guys uh, some food for thought I know it's something I think about a lot but maybe that's just the sort of things I like thinking about And uh, so yeah next step uh, add more platforms more um, practical stuff I, I want to at some point uh, set up both a pumpkin farm purely for aesthetic reasons really and a melon farm for an alternate food source because whilst crops turning into bread are great um, bread fills up two and a half uh, food whereas I prefer to keep my food as close to the maximum as, as possible at all times and melons, you, you break one melon you get like five slices and each slice will restore one food and I, I can quite happily just carry around a stack of men, melon slices on top of my food as needed because you, your food, uh, if it's full or one-off full it still regenerates your health but below that it doesn't so that's, that's why I like to keep it topped up but yeah, so I think I'll cut off here then and you shall see this world again when I have added more to it and if, if you have any ideas for anything you'd like to see even I'm I'm always open to ideas, so do do post them in the comments. So thank you all for watching, guys, and hopefully I'll see you next time.